And that means you can't rely on the media as it is today either. Oh, of course not. All the media in this country, radio, television, and print, is all owned by five corporations. All of these corporations that own the media are owned and controlled, and members of the Council on Foreign Relations sit on their board of directors. Can you name those five corporations? Is that... Yeah, not off the top of my head. Okay. I, I could try, but I don't want to take a chance on being uh, inaccurate. But you can trace that yourself. Okay. Remember, if you go down and you trace the ownership of a station or a newspaper and you get to a corporation, remember that somebody owns that corporation and it's usually another corporation. But when you, when you trace the interlocking of all these things, when you get to the top, there's five. And all journalists know that there's some things you don't write about and you don't talk about because you'll lose your job. And that's where the control is. And that's why they pay anchormen like Dan Rather two million dollars a year. Because he doesn't question them. He knows that if he goes against them, he's going to lose two million dollars a year. Do you think a man that looks pretty and sits in front of a TV camera for the six o'clock news is worth two million dollars a year? No way. I don't care how long he works and I don't care what he does. There is no job worth two million dollars a year. That's why they pay athletes these fantastic salaries. I was listening to the radio the other day. They just contracted to pay one, one player on one team $6 million a year. Can you believe this? And why is that? It's the Roman circus. What does the emperor do when the people become restive and when the people are asking questions and when the people don't like the policies of the emperor? He sends them to the circus. He creates a circus. He builds a giant coliseum. And he begins to throw the Christians to the lions. And he has great chariot races and football games and basketball games. All to keep the idiots preoccupied with things that don't mean anything in the scheme of the entire world. So that they don't have the time to learn what the truth is. So they don't ever get smart enough to learn how they're being manipulated. So they don't ever question the emperor. That's why they pay a player on a football team or a baseball team a million or two million or three million dollars a year. It is the Roman circus. I know men who don't know anything in the world except who plays third base for the Mets. And they think that's a great accomplishment. And they meet and pat each other on the back and bond and go have cocktails and talk about what this guy that plays third base for the Mets did in last night's game. It's sad. It's really sad. Is there any room in, in, uh, in a kind of society where these manipulations are not taking place for this type of entertainment or any type of entertainment at all? If people understand that a game is a game, if people understand that nobody, nobody, no matter what they do, is worth paying two or three million dollars a year for. People should be able to get rich if they want to mm -hmm. by the sweat of their individual labor. Okay? By going out and doing something for the world. Mm -hmm. Not by taking people's minds away from the emperor. It's a game. Football's a game. Football's a game. But let me tell you something. When 150 of the most powerful men and women in the world can meet in secret in Baden-Baden, Germany and plot the fate of billions and nobody even cares about it. But six football players go to lunch together and it's in the headlines across the country. You have a reflection of the society in which that exists. And it is a sick, sick society that it's doomed to self-destruction. So based on that scenario, there's some truth into what these, these men are looking at. Absolutely, and that's what makes me so sick, is that I'm trying to wake up a people who on a daily basis are proving the ones that I'm warning them about to be right. Mm -hmm. Well, it, it's so that even though a minority, there are people out there that you recognize are awake to this, if they don't do something about it, they will lose that ability to be free in that way. That's correct. Whether they might think, well, I don't need to worry about it because I know what I know and I'm fine. That's it right. It doesn't work that way. There's yeah. a connection here to everything. That is correct.
That is absolutely correct. A nation of people who are willing to send their sons and daughters that they profess that they love to a foreign country to die and they use the excuse to themselves that they're sending them off to defend our country and they know damn well that's a lie are doomed. 